All right, welcome back, everyone. So I mentioned last game I was going to show how to get the different states. It's in settings, interface commands. I forgot to do it last time. Settings, interface commands, and you can just select which states you want to show up on the side. And gunship strafe is indeed not on by default. I might as well turn it on. But yeah, so you can turn these on or off and also change whether or not you get to see... Oh, where is it? Oh, yeah, return fire and roam move. It's, I mean, I like the fact that it's far more compact and it's not really wasting space. But I can understand why people would be put off by missing some things here or there. Anyway, back to the game. So, this game is Pet Turtle on Shields against Chatria on Cloakies with Anvil Wood as the map. I remain your host, Dominic or Shadow Fury, whichever you prefer. And I have not actually seen Anvilwood before. It's neat. See the, the typical thing of not allowing spiders to go across here. And otherwise, very quicksilvery. As in, like, flat with a lot of holes in the ground to prevent movement rather than using mountains or hills or cliffs or whatever. So typically, you will see mountains and hills along the middle of the map. But no, today it is, or this map at least, it is all holes in the ground. Though for shield versus cloaky, that makes very little difference. Except I suppose for phantoms. Phantoms will be able to just shoot past everything. Also, a very large amount of metal. How much metal is here? 300, 200, 400. Oh my goodness. Actually, this is a point where it would be easier to do 1400 in pretty much every one of these piles. 700 right in front of the base. Sheesh, is this a subcom map or something? <laughs> I'm not joking, actually. This does actually make me think of Supreme Commander for whatever reason. I think because of the way that the terrain textures are being mapped together. Though also the fact that there's a bullshit amount of reclaim in the middle of the map. That is, like, that is something you see a lot in subcom. You don't see a lot in 0K maps or a lot of spring engine maps. At any rate, Chatria with Cloaky is going to have a bit of a hard time. Cloaky, honestly, versus Shields, it's been a bit tricky. There's been a lot of complaints recently of the match, but also it's always been kind of tricky. Like, Cloaky has always had to get around the side with Shields, and of course, late game, there aren't a huge number of options. Knights kind of exists as a way of cutting through the Shields for things like Felons, but it's still still a lot of investment required in order to counter knights with shields, so... Sorry, not shield, to counter the shields with cloak bots. Counter the knights with the shield isn't a huge investment. I mean, all I really needed for that is either a couple snitches or maybe... Maybe use some rogues. It's not a huge number of knights. Rogues would work. At any rate, Bad Turtle is... Falling behind. They're being contained out. Kshatria reclaiming a bunch of the metal in front. Actually losing quite a bit of it to excess. Also reclaiming a bunch of energy to try to make that up, which is... I mean, it's fair. It works. Surprised Kshatria's commander isn't actually building up any wind generators or anything right now. Actually, why aren't they? Good question. Yeah, 0 0.4 to 2.5, that would work. And of course, you'd have solar plants, which are solar plants, so they would generally work. Huh? Oh, that's right. Yeah. Back to the game. Actually, back to the back to a conjure getting or a convict rather getting completely torn apart. Nicely done there by Kshatra opening things up. Pet turtle won't be able to easily expand. Just as I always say, if you can take out a constructor, take out a constructor. Most efficient choice. But unfortunately for Kshatra, they are falling behind, and this Stardust will not be done in time. Their commander, however, will be upgrading to whatever it upgrades to in time. But the problem is more just a lack of energy. Pet Turtle has more energy. They have roughly the same production capacity, or at least as much as relevant. Already getting a Felon in, too. Sheesh. So from here, Kshatra, uh, they do have this. If nothing else, they do have the Stardust in their base. But beyond that, they're... 
kind of relying entirely on just being able to somehow contain Pet Turtle, and Pet Turtle already is getting at the Shield Ball. Got Outlaw, they've got Felon, just need a few Thugs or Convicts, and they are solid. So Kshatria... Oh, Riot Cannon. Not a bad choice. Same time, though, the Felon coming in here is a really good choice for Pet Turtle. Kshatria doesn't have anything set up to deal with that, effectively. Getting an Imp, but again, Imp's not really useful. The Knight, however, is, so I'm glad they have those on Q. Ronin... <sighs> if more of a fact that they've been kind of weakened recently, it would be a good choice, but yeah, Ronin... The problem is more the Rogue Ronin range war. Rogue tends to win out, so Ronin... Also, because Ronin fire in a straight line and don't fire overhead, they have to worry more about being caught in a large group and not able to actually hit their target. Rogues don't. But yeah, the, the upside to Ronin is they can smack the shields without really hitting them as the units are moving. The downside to Ronin is, again, short range. Knights, on the other hand, I mean, they deal... So, because they have their roll damage, plus 200 to shields. Because a third of any status damage... When dealt to shields, is dealt directly to shields. So instead of 230 and then it makes them paralyzed, it's 430 damage. Flat. To the shields. So bring about four of them. The Felon just basically can't do anything with its own shields. That being said, Kshatra is starting to fall back. Pet Turtle able to push out that, that contain with only, a, really, an outlaw and a rogue. Not much at all. Felon coming over to the north, able to take out the defenses, and there's the Thug and Outlaw, or Thug and Felon to, sorry, Thug and Outlaw, right, in the first line. Thug and the Outlaw to take care of the rest of the expansion. Same time over to the south, that Outlaw, that's just completely wrecking face with all the glaives. Kshatra getting those knights up, I don't know why they're switching back to glaives though, the glaives are pretty well worthless at this point. I could kind of see Reavers along with knights as a support force. Like to help get rid of any bandits that come through. But with Glaives, there just isn't really the room. There's too much in the way of static defenses built up. They can't really raid around the map. Maybe a couple for scouting isn't a bad idea. But you could always just use Swallows or Sparrows or whatever radar tower morphs into. Sparrow. You could always make a couple Sparrows and use those for scouting. Speaking of, that is... Well... Not much scouting, but they are at least... Oops. Yeah, something at least. Anyhow, Kshatra is... Honestly, in a tight spot. Petrodal has gone way ahead of them economically. Just about to build a fusion plant and completely solidify that economic lead. Petrodal hadn't really expanded a whole lot off of all the reclaim they took. And now their army is falling way behind. The Knights are something of a hope, but I don't even know if that's enough, considering how much shield ball there is to contend with. And it's not like the Snitches, or the Imps, rather, are going to be able to do much. Heck, the one that is there? Okay, that's it. Like, you can't really do much, but again, it's the Outlaw. The only thing I can think of maybe is using Constructor Area Cloak along with a group of units to get underneath the Felon or something. But that's about it. Like, and Constructor Area Cloak, I'm not seeing it used. Kind of wish it was. Nope, Kshatcher figures there's no way out of this. Throws in the towel. Well, that was a little disappointing, but certainly educational. I do... Oh, Kshatcher did access quite... Yeah, they did access quite a bit at the beginning. That is fair. I do think, though, that if Kshatcher had just gotten the knights up earlier, built up a bit with that, and attacked, they would have had some chance. But also, again, it's like you have Area Cloak, either from the Iris or from the Conjurer. You have Reavers. I mean, you, Ronin wouldn't have been a bad idea in this context. Yeah, the Rogues are a thing, but then your opponent's investing into Rogues and not into more Shield Ball. Although, of course, the Bandits are a problem, but again, Reavers... Yeah, I don't know. Shatcher just basically did not have a lasting economy. Petro was able to raid that out, and Shatcher didn't have much to defend against that. No Stingers, no Faradays. 
The Faraday would have been... I don't even think about building Faraday myself, to be honest. That actually would have been interesting. Like, if we had Faraday... Yeah, 250. That is not much. For how much it could stop basically anything coming in. Like, just splash damage on the shields. Or, it is splash, right? Yeah, splash damage, shield. 400 damage onto the shields. And then stun out the units underneath because splash damage. So I can still EMP them. That wouldn't have been a bad idea. Kind of surprised we didn't see any of those. That, that's the thing. Oh, okay. Thanks, Exley. I'm pointing out in the chat that Ronin do get in the range of Felon. Yeah, that's what I figured. Honestly, I... Felons are a tough unit to deal with. They... It's like you kind of have to take your lumps when fighting them. Just deal with the fact that they are quite expensive. They have they have a massive logistical budget required to make them work well. Knights almost work just because they drain the felon shield and the remaining knights can stun everything out. And of course, the canonical answer is Phantom, but Phantom's 750. So it's kind of tough to do that because they are more expensive than felons. So if you're behind economically, it's not the best option. So yeah, shield balls, this has actually been something being discussed actively, is what to do about shield balls, like balance-wise. But anyway, let's not dwell on that. Let's move on to the next game, which is going to be Golda and Dregs on Prestige. So stay tuned for that. It'll be up in a couple minutes, and it looks to be a really good one. At least I hope so, because it's, it's longer. It's on the longer side. So do prepare for that. Get water, popcorn... A valued pet? I don't know. Something. So. Darn it. And we'll be back in a couple minutes. Oops. Oh, no, no, that, that, that. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Okay. Back in a bit. 